Thank you very much. Uh, so it's my pleasure to open up this afternoon session. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't be here this morning to welcome you. So I could anyway say welcome to Chalmers. Uh, it's, uh, it's so nice to see all of you here attending this seminar on digitalization. And it's really an impressive program for these two days. Uh, for myself, um, having my scientific background in uh, semiconductor physics and solid state electronics, I could feel that maybe I, I contributed a little, little bit over the years in, in providing the technology that has made really this, trans, this, this possible. The, and we now see uh, technology and systems that really transforming our societies. And I remember when I was a PhD student, and this was the mid-80s or so, um, during coffee break, one of my colleagues said, that, did you know, I was thinking about this this morning, that actually now um, the memory technology has developed to such a state that it would pretty soon be possible to store a picture on a ship. And this was in the mid late 80s. So it's really been a development of the technology behind this. And of course, continuing on the systems level, uh, etc. And we could clearly see how uh, this technology is transforming the society. For us here at Chalmers, um, we see that we could contribute a lot, both as an, en an enabler with knowledge and advanced research in information and communication technology. As, and also in other areas of, of our activities as a provider of solutions to challenges in, in energy or transportation or, or in other fields. Uh, it's very clear and I understood uh, also that this has been mentioned several times this morning that to really move forward and, and being able to work with these challenges, we have to work in a multidisciplinary way. Here at Chalmers, my university, we have um, taken action on that and we actually organized, uh, in a way, our university to support this. So besides the departments where we have all of our activities, the same way as any university, we have arranged a matrix structure uh, with eight cross-going areas of advance. And one of them is in information and communication technology. And this seminar is made in this dimension. The role of this, this matrix dimension at Chalmers, it's, it's at least a threefold role. The first one is to provide an arena for connecting researchers, teachers and students in, in the various disciplines at the different departments here at Chalmers. Of course, our staff is bottom up going into working into these arena, arenas, but the areas of advance provide that arena. Secondly, to provide a single entry point to Chalmers in these areas. Uh, and thirdly, and maybe, uh, maybe the most important one, is to provide a platform for collaboration with industry and other actors, where we could actually, through this matrix structure, offer access to different parts of the university. And this is the way we work. We work quite a bit uh, looking locally here. Chalmers and Gothenburg universities really look working a lot together in this area and supporting each other. And it's very clear for us, being a technical university, that we also need access to the other uh, faculty areas, which, which locally uh, is present here in Gothenburg, the social sciences, the humanities, etc., that needs, that is needed to not only develop technology, but to develop technology for humans. And of course, to work together with industry uh, and having really a two-way communication where we could be provided with, with relevant issues uh, and where we could really co-produce results together with, with companies. Uh, not much discussed when I looked at the program in this, uh, uh, for this seminar is how the uh, development we see now will affect the universities. Because it's clear, it has affected various societal sectors and we will see more sectors being affected. And for sure, it will also affect higher education in the future. We don't know exactly how. We are doing experiments with MOOCs and with blended learning and with flipped classrooms and etc. etc. 
but we're still in kind of experimental phase. For sure, it will, uh, in various ways, affecting the way we're providing higher education. And we should all be there trying to understand that and see what advantage we could take of the opportunities that come. Uh, there is also an increasing need of uh, knowledge in the society, and there is an increased need of uh, graduates from the universities having a uh, little piece at least of digitalization and, and, and uh, the ability to use uh, the opportunities. And this is a challenge, and we see it, of course, from, as a pressure from the outside on, on us as a university to provide more people in the IT uh, and digital technology areas. But we also see an internal pressure from our students that would like to have, have uh, courses in the field or would like to uh, have uh, their diploma work made in the field of digitalization. And that, of course, putting uh, a stress on our internal organization because the students move in a certain direction. This is very positive, of course. It's, it's, it's a very strong force and, and we're doing our best to fulfill both the uh, external need, of course, of, of uh, uh, workforce and, and, and uh, to, to fulfill the interest from our students. So it's a challenging and, and very uh, fantastic time. We uh, clearly could see how things are changing and we are right in the middle of it, so we don't exactly know where it will end. And I, I think that feels as, as a very nice feeling. We are going somewhere and we'll have the chance of affecting where we will end up. So let's do that together and good luck with the seminar. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you.